Hey guys, um, Tony here, and I'm back to do a third installment of my um, vinyl collection must-haves. Um, tonight I'm going to spotlight an album um, in a group that I think is just phenomenal. Um, more known probably by people that are more in the know as far as rock music um, uh, and the whole punk movement, um, but still very, very underrated. Um, these guys broke up years ago, and they actually got back together in the past couple years to play. Um, but yeah, just a fantastic group. And the album is, and the group is, Television, and their album, Marky Moon. Um, and it's just an absolutely brilliant, brilliant album. Um, one of my favorites. Um, and this album has actually made a lot of lists of best groups, I mean, best albums ever, top lists of top 100 albums, things like that. Same thing with the title track, Marky Moon, made a lot of lists too. Um, but these guys were, they're lumped into the whole punk rock category because um, probably mostly because of their uh, the scene they were in and the time and the place mid to late 70s New York uh, CBGB's these guys were one of the first CBGB's bands um, but they were not nothing like where punk what punk was and um, these guys were much more intricate they played more they stretched they stretched out a little bit more in their songs um, the title track Marky Moon talks in like 10 minutes or so um, two guitar players um, Tom Verlaine who's right here he's also the singer and he wrote I think all the songs uh, and Richard Lloyd here um, two excellent guitar players um, so I would compare them to like the way they played together was just they were like perfect for each other and that one was a player that was a little more precise um, and the other was a little bit more um, a little more passionate and emotional in his playing um, I almost compare them to like Stephen Stills and Neil Young in, the, in Buffalo Springfield whereas they played together so well but just were complete opposites, you know, so they were like, sound about it, the way they, just the way their, their guitar sounds just kind of weave in and out of each other, you know, uh, and the rhythm section too in this group was just, these songs, like, once you, you know them a little bit and you've listened to them a few times, they're just, they're so infectious, like they get under your skin and they just stay there, and when I haven't listened to this for a long time and I put it on, I'm just like, unbelievable like I love these songs especially this first side see no evil the album opener these songs are all just brilliant Venus friction Marky Moon um, the title track and it's just unbelievable when I listen to these guys I hear a lot of things going on and it's certainly not the Ramones you know um, I hear a lot of maybe a bit of like psychedelic a little bit a little touch of 60s garage rock um and maybe a little bit of um try and think here they're, they're just kind of like they kind of have their own sound too more new wave and more post-punk than they are punk I, i'd say um and just the lyrics are just really um, very poetic, very obtuse, but but still just brilliant. And I actually had the pleasure of seeing. I didn't see this group uh, play Reformed, um, although I've heard varying reports on how good that was. But I did see Richard Lloyd play in a very small club one time, and it was just awesome seeing him play. Um, nothing like television, but still awesome. Um, I mean, yeah, this group, this actually, this album was like came out, and it wasn't big when it came out. Um, I guess it more had like a cult following, the people that knew what was going on in New York and all that. And but it was huge in Britain. I think um, 
I want to say the song Friction was big in uh, in England, so as a result, this album just blew up over there. But they didn't see the same kind of success in the States. Um, like I said, I think it's only more <coughs> uh, recently that they've kind of been getting their due. I mean, um, funny thing too is that Tom Verlaine was, uh, grew up and was good friends with Richard Hell. And, um, of Richard Hell and the Voidoids. Um, and he was actually in this group. He was one of the founding members. And I guess after a while, him and Tom Verlaine just didn't get along. Tom Verlaine wasn't too crazy about his songs. And, you know, Richard Hell was kind of even going in that more punk direction, more energy and things like that. Um, and I think Tom Verlaine felt that. That kind of stuff took away from his um, his songs, so he was out of the group. Richard Hell actually, after that, joined the Heartbreakers, and then he was out of that group. So, anyway, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what else I could say about this except just to check it out. I mean, if you're not familiar with this record, go out, find a copy, and if you can't find a copy on vinyl, find the CD. Or download it. It's just a fantastic record. Um, if you have a record collection, this is really, truly a must-have in your collection. Um, I can't recommend this enough. Uh, again, Marky Moon by Television. Great, great album by a great band. Um, they actually have another album, too, um, called Adventure, which is great in its own way, but I think this is just on a whole other level. So... Check it out. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, please leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Um, do you like this album? Have you ever heard of it? Um, and, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.